This video will cover the steps of building a labeled data set of images, training an image classification model, and deploying that model to the flat tire detector device. The goal is to have the device be able to capture images of what's in front of it to determine what it's looking at, either a tire that is full, a tire that is flat, or no tire at all. The first step in getting this to work is to build out a labeled data set of images that can be used to train an image classification model. We're going to capture example images of the three classes we want the model to learn on. A full tire class, a flat tire class, and a no tire class. Here we use OpenMV IDE and a connected OpenMV CAM to create this data set. I've already initiated a new data set by going to the tools menu and hitting new data set, then naming it tire data set. The newly created data set folder includes a default Python script that you can see here in the editor. The script is used to configure the camera settings and show a preview of what the camera is seeing during image collection. For our data set, we want the images to be captured in grayscale color and to be square in shape. To make this happen, change the pix format value to grayscale and then add a new line that tells the camera to capture images at 24 by 24 pixels. Save the script after making these edits. These formatting changes will make the images compatible with the model we train later. Once that is done, click the run button in the lower left corner to start the script. Here you can see that the frame buffer window starts showing a preview of what the connected OpenMV camera is seeing. First we'll start by capturing images for the full tire class. So position the camera so that it's centered on a single tire that is filled up all the way. Make sure the tire fills most of the frame. Click the button for new class folder and when the prompt comes up, type in full for the class name and hit OK. This creates a new subfolder called full.class that will hold all the images for the full class of images. Click on that subfolder to highlight it. Next, click the capture image button to start saving images of what the camera is pointed at. These images are placed in the full.class subfolder. After each capture, Move the camera around slightly, forward and back, and left and right to introduce some differences between the images. These differences will allow the model to learn different variations of what a full tire looks like. Repeat this process until you've collected a large amount of example images. Make sure to vary the images and move the car to introduce rotations in the tires. For this class, I'll collect 300 example images. Repeat this process to collect examples of flat tire images. Let the air out of a tire until it is flat and reposition the camera so that it's centered on the tire and it fills the entire frame of the camera. Click the button for new class folder and when the prompt comes up, type in flat for the class name and hit OK. Then click the newly created flat.class subfolder to highlight it. Repeat the steps of clicking the capture image button and moving the camera around to introduce differences between the images. Repeat this until the full amount of example flat images are captured. I'll collect 300 images for this. Repeat this process one final time to collect examples of no tire images. Point the camera at non-tire objects like the side of a car or an empty part of the garage. Click the button for new class folder and when the prompt comes up, type in no tire for the class name and hit OK. Click the newly created no tire dot class subfolder to highlight it. Repeat the steps of clicking the capture image button and moving the camera around. This time collect images of anything that is not either a full or flat tire, like the door panels of a car, the floor, or any partial tires. Repeat this until the full amount of example no tire images are captured. I'll collect 300 of these images.